folding walking cane arrived for my trip down to Stanford. And I figured I needed a little something to take with me that I could easily fold. And um, this is what I got. It wasn't very expensive. I'll have to look up what I paid for it. Came in a little bag with a little drawstring. Actually, I like that it came in a bag. It's a, it is definitely not a quality bag. <laughs> it's a very cheap um, cloth bag, but I like that it came in a bag. It'll make it really easy for traveling with and uh, not having the bottom of the cane get other things dirty. So I like that. Being the uh, bit of a germaphobe I am these days, trying not to get sick. Oh, it has a nice little strap here. Holds it together. And strap has a little snap. And everything just snaps right into place there. And that is what the bottom looks like. Yeah, that's the handle. It has an LED flashlight that, with a little button on top. Really easy to press. Needs four LR44 batteries. Let's see. Oh, look at that. So, it actually does stand on its own, which is nice. So that's lovely. So yeah, so this is the little strap that uh, wraps around when it's folded and snaps together to keep it folded. And this, I love. So this is padded. For those of us who um, have really sore joints and really sensitive skin, especially for cold surfaces. First of all, this is plastic. It's not metal. So it's not as cold as metal. It's really soft uh, and uh, for gripping and um, even warm <laughs> as I'm holding it, which is nice. Um, so for those of us who have sensitive skin and sore joints, this is really nice. Um, I specifically was um, searching for one that had a padded handle because of how um, achy my joints are and my sensitive skin. I wasn't going to be able to hold comfortably the surface of a lot of the other canes. So now, th again, this is made of plastic up here, so, you know, that's not going to take a whole lot of banging around. This is, hmm, this is um, some sort of steel or something, a metal. Um, and the bottom here is a plastic. It's not going to last forever, but it was really fairly inexpensive, so I don't need it to last forever. I can afford to replace it down the road. I'm not too worried about that. You know, the flashlight I'm sure won't last forever. Yeah, it stands on its own. So nice. Oh my goodness. I have enough to think about without my cane continually falling onto the ground. So yeah, that's really great. Um, so I think the next step is to make it pretty. <laughs> I could only find black for this. I mean, you know, a little color on that. It wouldn't take much to paint this, right? Just a little bit of color, a little dab, dab, dab. That won't take long at all. Oh, I don't know. Limited energy, I know. <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna have to do it. <laughs> I don't think I can help myself. I know. I know. I don't know. Might be a mistake. I mean, it's perfectly sensible to keep it this way. Perfectly sensible to keep it this way. There's no problem with it just like this, except that I can't resist but put color on it. So I'm going to. I'm going to paint it. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, we'll see what happens. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking color is definitely happening now. Okay, 
I hope you guys are having a good day. Bye-bye.